since Ethan here. I'm exploring some new ideas on my math rock song today. Um, starting out with a melody made completely of harmonics that I came up with. I'm going to try to lay it down over what I was calling the chorus section of the song. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. And I also threw a synth pad on there already. So you hear kind of a spacey um, pad on top of everything. Um, I'm not going to play the whole part because it kind of goes uh, a long, long time. So I'll jump you right in where that melody hits and you kind of hear the synth plus the new melody and we'll see what it comes out like. <laughs> sounds freaking sweet in my opinion um, and it actually ended up sitting right in the mix where I wanted it um, super midzy and warm and it had uh, its own little space kind of carved out just by chance so uh, maybe I'll throw some compression on there and see what that does for it but uh, yeah I'm really happy with it um, that's just coming out of the axe effects with the stereo delay kind of doing its thing to sweeten it up make it a little bit more spacious sounding and uh, kind of match the vibe of that section so yeah, um, I'm not even going to tweak with that for now. I think we're ready to move on to our next section of tune, which is um, what I'm actually going to call the chorus, because I know I called the, this part the chorus last time. Um, I've got something different that I think is going to be the primary catchy melody of the song. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because the song's going to have like three melodies that it's pivoting through, um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that and um, really drive home that this is the chorus. But anyhow, I think it's the most memorable part. Um, and we're going to start it with a uh, chord progression that I came up with, um, just kind of arpeggiating through it. And uh, you'll see it's, it's more of a fusion sounding thing, whereas the first part was like math rock, and then we went more to the prog side of things. Um, but obviously all these genres are kind of in the same basket, so to speak. So anyways, let's see what it comes out like. Uh, we'll lay that first, down, uh, for that first part down for you guys. So I think that sounded pretty sweet as well. Um, it's going to be a little bit cooler once we throw drums and bass and everything on there. But uh, tone-wise, I think it was really nice. And I actually double-tracked it, which I'm sure you could tell. So um, I took a lot of time to make sure that the double matched up really closely with the original, especially because I've got a delay on there. I don't want it to sound really sloppy. I want it to sound tight and uh, almost so well double-tracked that it's practically mono, so you get that really thick sound. So. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, uh, how it came out in that regard, so I'm about to throw down some bass guitar and some drums and we'll see what that sounds like. sounded pretty seriously heavy, um, especially with the drums jumping into kind of a halftime feel at the end there. And um, I had a lot of fun putting the drum fills in on uh, the MIDI programming. Um, hopefully it's not too obnoxious though. I'm trying to strike a balance there, but um, I got a little bit more work to do on the drums in terms of adding in ghost notes and stuff, but um, overall really cool. So um, I think we're ready to throw the guitar melody on there. And we'll see what it all sounds like all glued together. Um, I think it's going to be really sick because I've got some kind of like shreddy little riffs that I want to work into it. So hopefully we can get that laid down and hopefully it sounds awesome. So here is this section plus the guitar. <laughs>
actually digging how that melody is coming out. Um, why don't we take a listen to the whole, not the whole piece, but everything that we worked on today, and we'll see how it all glues together and uh, make sure everything's con nice and congealed and flowing well. So, um, yeah, here it goes. song. Um, I actually have a whole like page written up with all my like rough draft ideas of how the structure of the song could be to finish it off and uh, there's some crazy stuff in store for you guys for sure. Um, so I'm going to try to move along a little bit quicker with my production of the song. So let me know what your favorite part is so far. Um, I'd say that last section is definitely up there um, but that harmonic melody would probably take the cake for me. And yeah I'd, I'd love to hear if you guys are digging this type of content so I can uh, go ahead and make more with some other songs I've been working at. Uh, so stay tuned for more stuff. Please like and subscribe. And click here for some other videos uh, that, if you want to check out some of my music.